Hey guys, how are you? Um, it is a bit uh, stormy, a bit rainy, as you can probably tell from the clouds above my head. Um, but I wanted to get out here. I need to, um, I need to get this tree planted. This is a beautiful Dakota pinnacle birch tree. Right now it has a kind of a brown copper colored trunk and these fabulous leaves. Um, but as it ages, it will um, come out to be a beautiful um, white that uh, typical birch is known for. So I'm really excited about that. This tree grows roughly 30 to 35 feet tall and about mm, the width, I'm not sure. I've left to put it on the screen. But it's a, a pinnacle because it grows kind of like my tree there which is a ornamental pear. So <clears throat> anyway, so that's how this one is going to grow. And when it is in the fall, it turns a gorgeous, beautiful, bright yellow leaves. Um, they are just stunning. So I cannot wait to get this in the ground. Um, it's bald and burlapped. Um, I did not see any sort of cage around it, but yeah, I think, I think this is going to be really, really beautiful. Now, where it's going is to replace my poor little... <sighs> I'm forgetting the name. Okay. My poor little pink snow showers flowering cherry tree. It completely died on me. Now, there were a couple things wrong. One of which was when we were having the fence installed, it accidentally got damaged so that was a huge bummer but I also think that it was just getting too much water and so we're gonna dig it up today and replace it with our gorgeous birch tree so I'm gonna get started on that and then I'll come back after it's in and we'll talk a little bit more as long as the rain doesn't pick up a lot more than it is now. in that was a lot easier than uh, originally putting this one in because uh, we already had the hole dug and it fit perfectly inside the hole so um, anyway the great thing about this this is this tree is part of the river birch family and so it can take a lot of extra water um, that this bed needs to keep a lot of these other things happy um, and so I have a feeling, you know, this is going to be the perfect place for it. And uh, it, it will get to about its full height in about roughly 10 years. Uh, so it's a moderate grower, um, but it's just, it's just absolutely stunning. But the, the great thing, too, about this tree is that it's been made very, very disease resistant. Um, and so I have a feeling that we're not going to be dealing with boars as badly, at least, as uh, with the regular birch trees that I love so much. So this is my first river birch. I'm planning um, next spring probably to get a couple more to go along our, uh, our little stream that we have in the back of the yard. So yeah. So I'm going to just do a little bit more to this guy, make sure it is dead dead. If it isn't, I will replant it somewhere, but it's not looking so hot. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. 
But anyway, um, so that's it for today, mostly because of the weather. <laughs> I had uh, wanted to get in some other pretty things, but it's just not going to happen today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.